We went to the Stone Zoo. It was awesome. We'll tell you about it. Hi everyone, it's Sam from Parents Guide to the World. Just here today, we just went on a family trip to the Stone Zoo. We had a fantastic time. This little zoo is actually located in Stoneham, Massachusetts. Um, so for us, it's about a three hour drive, but if you're ever in the vicinity of it, we definitely recommend you check it out. The prices to go are $19.95 for an adult or $12.95 for a child. Under two, of course, is free. So that's great if you have a lot of little ones. Now they also offer a membership. We personally recommend it. Uh, we decided to go with a family membership. It was $125, but it included two adults and four kids. So anyone with a little bit larger family, that definitely will benefit you. Not only that, but in that price, it includes the Franklin Zoo, which is in the same area. Now it's a larger one. We haven't been able to check it out yet, but we are definitely looking forward to it. In addition, the benefits to it are great because you can visit zoos all across the United States at 50% off and some other fun little discounts as well in the gift shops and in the cafeterias there too. This is a smaller zoo compared to some, so I've been to zoos all over the U.S., some really large ones. For it being small, it actually packed a lot of exhibits in. When you first walk in, one of my favorite parts was actually the flamingo exhibit. I know you've seen flamingos a million times probably at the zoo but the exhibit was fairly large with a very large population of flamingos inside of there. It was really cool. We actually got to see them stretch out and see things that I've never actually noticed about them. I don't know about you, but I never noticed that they have black underneath their wings, which was actually really pretty to see. In addition, you know, my daughter was fascinated with the fact that the flamingos, the reason they're actually so pink is due to their diet. They eat a lot of brine shrimp and algae which gives them that really unique color. Hey guys, so the Stone Zoo was an awesome little zoo. It had some great animals, dozens of different animals there. Our highlights were definitely the Mexican gray wolves with only 15,000 of them left in the wild. It was really neat to see an exhibit where they have lots of space and they're able to come right up to the audience. We got up close and personal with one of them and he was hanging out right there with us the whole time and almost looked like a dog you could pet. They are the smallest species of wolf and so that's why they look a little smaller but they're still so cool and you know you definitely wouldn't want to be in the cage with them that's for sure. But the Mexican gray wolves my number one and I think really our whole family is number one. Our daughter's a big wolf fan and so in the end that's almost in a reason by itself just to go to the stone zoo. Other things I thought were pretty cool is they do have some uh, big cats maybe not like large large cats they didn't have a lion or anything but they have a mountain mountain lion exhibit that was really cool up close and personal with the mountain lion as well as a jaguar right there that we could see very well. The snow leopards were really cool as well. They had a neat exhibit but you couldn't see them very well or get good pictures so I don't really have much of them. They were way up in the hills. I also really enjoyed the arctic foxes and oh my goodness the otters were so fun and playful. Seeing the otters in the snow was neat. One of the weird exhibits that we saw were actually called bush dogs. So on top of all the other animals we just talked about, they actually have this rare canine called bush dogs. I guess they're rarely seen in the wild or in zoos. I've never seen them and I'm almost 40. And so seeing bush dogs is pretty cool. They're like pig dogs. And so you could see them and uh, definitely one of the weirder animals, but we were fascinated with them. They're grumpy little faces and they look just so mean. They look like they definitely couldn't be domesticated and maybe that's why no one's ever tried. Um, so just the bush dogs was a pretty cool little thing at a zoo that you would never expect to see a, an animal that that personally I've never seen before. Um, so definitely Bush Dogs was definitely one of my favorites too. Um, so check those out. So with a snowy day here, not being able to see all exhibits, I think the ones we did get to see were definitely super enjoyable. And you know, they have other stuff too. You got like bears and right in the beginning, the flamingos were awesome to see. And so it's definitely dozens of great exhibits here, even with some stuff closed, even with some stuff seasonal, I would definitely recommend you check out the Stone Zoo. Overall, we had a great time at the zoo. Uh, a ton of animals that some we've actually seen before. Then we also got to see the more rare ones like the bush dogs and the uh, Mexican gray wolves. My daughter is obsessed with wolves right now. That was definitely her favorite exhibit. I'd say the only downfall to our trip really is that due to COVID currently, they are doing it by reservation and you only have a 90 minute time slot. So I'd say use that 90 minutes wisely. I felt about the last five or six exhibits that we went to, we were really rushed and so we kind of had to run up to the bobcats and the bears and some of those, you know, bigger predators that are really cool to check out. So I would love to go and see them again. Now, granted, we have that family membership that I mentioned, so we go anytime and I'm sure we are going to check it out a second time so that we can 
you know, see the animals that we didn't get to spend a lot of time with. And then as soon as we check out that Franklin Zoo too, we'll go ahead and give you guys that update just so you guys can maybe plan your own little trip there. It's definitely worth it. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day. We're going to kind of make a comedy about these bush dogs because they're pretty funny and they're grumpy. So um, we're going to probably spend way too much time hanging out um, now that we have our membership. We're going to go back there again and hang out with the wolves and hang out with the bush dogs a couple times. And, you know, it's going to be a really fun time. We'll keep you guys updated and we'll show you more videos when you do go to the Stone Zoo. We're also going to view, we're also going to visit the uh, sister zoo as well, the New England Zoo there, which is a bigger zoo. I haven't been there myself as well, so check back for that video soon. We appreciate you guys watching. Please smash that like button, subscribe, hit that bell, all that stuff.